Welcome back to the channel. Today, let me hit you with the reason why I chose the Canon RF 35 1.8 to be my second everyday lens. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my filmmaking insights, gear reviews, and exploration. Let's jump right in. First off, let's talk about the build quality. The Canon RF 35 1.8 is designed with both durability and portability in mind. It's lightweight and compact, making it a fantastic companion for the on-the-go filmmaking. There's a little heft to it. It doesn't feel cheap. I feel like it can take some bumps and bruises. I'm not super rough on my lens, <laughs> uh, but I also don't baby them when I'm switching them out and running through trails or whatever I do. So it's not weather sealed. I didn't expect it to be. Not necessarily a feature I'm there for just yet. Maybe in the future if I go diving with it without a dive case. <laughs> just kidding. In the video where I visited the AT&T Stadium, I chose this lens because of its size. Now the stadium actually had a rule for length of the lens and this one fit right under it with a filter on the front. Now this lens is a macro lens and it's my first one. In the past, I could get pretty close to an object with something like a 50 mil 1.8, but the first time I shot with this at a wedding, I was blown away. It's very crispy at a close distance. I actually shot the same shot like four or five times just because it was like awesome. Now, typically on a wedding day, I would use my 24 to 70 for the majority of the shots, but I switched to use this one because, quick story. For weddings, I used to use a glide cam. The glide cam supports basically any weight that you can handle. I went to switch to a gimbal. I tried to go cheap, bought the RS3 Mini, put my R6 2470 combo on it, found out the hard way that I reached the limits of this gimbal really quickly with that setup. Should have gone RS3 Pro or something like that. Didn't return the RS3 Mini in time to get my money back. Got stuck with it. Used it at my last wedding with a 35 millimeter and had an amazing day with it. So I still use the 2470, but found out the 35 mil is a delight to use on the RS3 Mini. More of the story, buy the product you need if it's in budget, okay? <laughs> All right, let's hit the streets. Catch you on the bike. Okay, so I'm out here at Fort Harrison State Park. Let's hit a couple spots. Now I've shown you mostly video, but this lens is just as valuable for photography. I do both, but I find myself leaning more into video these days. Okay, so price. At the time of filming this video, B&H has it at $4.99, but I bought it when Canon had a sale, so be on the lookout for those. Not a bad price for a prime lens like this, but if you already have a 50 mil, it may not make sense to grab this one. I don't believe you need both in your bag, and I say that from experience. So who needs this? In my opinion, this is going to be a secondary lens to your primary, a Robin to your Batman. This is not gonna be your Black Panther, but it can be another superhero in the battle for Earth. It may not be Miles Morales, but <laughs> well, you get the most in picture. But what are your thoughts? Do you have this lens and absolutely adore it, or have you bypassed it? 